My name is Casey Bayales, and I am a first-generation Mexican-American woman. I was born into two cultures. My ethnicity is Hispanic, while my nationality is American. Believe it or not, it has taken me up till now to say that with pride. I invite you to walk with me through my journey of learning how to embrace both cultures. My parents were born and raised in very humble households in Jalisco, Mexico. Dad's family was on the outskirts of town on a ranch, while my mom's family was in a small tin roof house near town square. Neither reached very far academically. My dad dropped out of middle school to help around the ranch, and my mom was only allowed to finish middle school. They were raised to work day by day to help support their family until they got married and have a family of their own. Like so many in their circumstances, their life dream was to have children and their children in the US so that they would have a better life. After getting married in 2003, together they made the life-changing decision to leave their entire lives and family to move to an unknown country with no knowledge of the culture or language to fight for a better future. One of my mom's brothers and his wife offered them a room in their home in Chicago until they got onto their feet. My dad worked construction jobs while my mom was either cleaning hotel rooms or in a factory assembling pieces. They got pregnant that same year and had me in August of 2004 and my sister in 2006. By, kindergarten, by my kindergarten year, we had moved to a duplex building not too far. There we stayed for about two more years until a job offer came up from one of my dad's sisters, my aunt, in a small town down in Arkansas. All was well, but it was far too small for us. After finishing up my first grade year, we moved back up, but this time to Liberty, Missouri. Another one of my dad's sisters offered a serving position uh, at her restaurant Los Compas in Independence. That was in 2011, and we have been here ever since. Growing up as the first child to immigrant parents, meant that I was the most accustomed to the culture, language, and social structure, societal structure of America. From a young age, I was often translating documents, bills, appointments, and even casual conversations. My parents still had strong accents at the time, and sometimes I was the only one that could understand them. I was the middleman. Unlike most of my peers, I not only experienced first for myself, but also for my family. Growing up in a white, English-dominant area was rough for me during my younger years. Like most kids, I wanted to fit in, and being one of the only Hispanics in my class didn't help. I slowly started becoming ashamed of who I was, doing all I could to be passing. My earliest memory of shame took place in first, fifth grade when a conversation came up about what I was with a peer. You're Mexican, she said. No, I'm American. This went on. Looking back at it now, I wasn't wrong, but neither was she. Technically, we were both right. I went home and asked my parents about it, and they told me she was right. I was confused about the difference between ethnicity and nationality. I remember the clearest, no, what I remember the clearest was the anger, embarrassment, and denial I felt at that, in that moment. I did not like being recognized as Mexican. Although I wasn't wrong, in my heart, I was ashamed in denying my heritage. Simple things that most kids wouldn't double think were most anxiety triggering. For example, my last name, Bañales. I dreaded roll call. I avoided the questions regarding where I came from because I was ashamed of it. I let teachers and peers butcher it in order for it to sound more normal, banal. To me, it was a clear indicator to others about my Hispanic heritage, and I didn't like that. It wasn't until my sophomore year when I joined a Spanish heritage class with Ms. Ruiz. One day, she spoke about the importance of correcting others when they butcher our name, the meaning that our names hold, and the importance of taking pride in them, because they do hold power, and they do connect us with our heritage. Embracing my name, my culture, and my roots began in Ms. Ruiz's classroom, sophomore year. Why sophomore year and not freshman year? I was doing Spanish too when I knew dang sure I was fluent. 
I was scared. I was scared of labeling myself as, her as a heritage speaker, as Hispanic. At a parent-teacher conference with my Spanish kid teacher,